in Sakya Pandita's uh, Sakya Lakshya's first chapter of examination of the wise. In this, it says, when they are commanded, even animals can understand. Those who know what to do without being directed are wise. In Tibetan, it says, so, if you ask someone to do this and not to do this, if you train someone, then not even the human beings, even the animals can understand and can follow your instruction. When human trains the animal, they train with force and also with skillful means. And after that, they will listen to your instruction. So not only humans can train fellow human beings, but human can also train the animals and they can <clears throat> understand your instruction. So, <clears throat> for example, there are many animals that we can see in, like, in many uh, animal shows that they just follow what the instructors are giving the instruction. So even the animals can follow the instructions. But more important than this is without asking by any others or without giving any instruction by others, without giving any advice or any guide by others, if one can decide what to do by one's own thinking through logical reason, such person is considered as a wise person, as a genuine, learned, and wise person. So nowadays, Sometimes people just follow others without reasoning. If they are doing, then I should also do. They just follow others without your own reasoning. And if you just follow without reasoning, sometimes it can be good, but sometimes it can be bad. So the most important thing is to think yourself whether this is the right way to do or not. In the practice of Dharma, especially uh, in our daily life when we do, what we should do or not does not depends on what others are doing. In our action, whether it's right or wrong, does not depend on others. No matter whatever others are doing, we should try our best to follow the right path, the right way, by doing the right thing or right action. So, <clears throat> right action is always right. Right action can, cannot be converted into bad action, or bad actions cannot be converted into right actions by many people. For example, in this case, majority of the people or minority of the people does not matter at all. For example, in one <coughs> town or village, if the people of that town or village gather together 
and had a, have a meeting and then say it is okay to smoke cigarette. If the 90% of the people say it's okay to smoke cigarette, so although major of the people supported this, but it doesn't mean it won't uh, harm your health. By smoking, it won't harm your health. We cannot say, even the doctors will not say, because 90% of the people are supporting, because of that, now you can smoke and it won't harm your health. Doctor cannot say like this. Whether 90% or 10% doesn't matter, but the reality is what the 10% people are saying is the right. Even though they are few in numbers, they are the minority, but the fact is the one that is that has the support of the minority, not the majority. So in our action, whether it's good or not, does not depend on whether other people are supporting or not. So in such a case, we should think ourselves whether it's right or wrong, not just follow 90% because there are so many people who support this, then because of that, if I want to support this, then it's not right. One should use our own logical reason, one should use our own mind, our own wisdom to think and then decide whether it's right or wrong. So in such a case, even 100% are supporting wrong action, but still wrong action will remain as a wrong action because it has support of 100% of the people, it doesn't become right. Wrong action cannot convert into right or cannot transform into right action. So in such case or in similar situation, if one can use one's own logical reason, one's own wisdom to check whether this is right or wrong, and then if we just decide according to one's own logical reason and not depending on others' um, thought or others' opinion, then uh, such kind of thinking and such kind of decision maker are considered as a uh, learned and wise person. So uh, we should always try to our best to decide the, to, to have the right decision through one's own wisdom. That is the advice of this uh, stanza or this verse.